action. Okay, Mr. Medellin here, you guys, Mr. M. And today we're going to be doing uh, GI, lower GI, in fact. We'll be doing the positions for lower GI exams. Uh, so we'll do the PA, we'll do the uh, P axial, we'll do the REO, LEO, and then we'll do a left lateral. Okay, so we'll do those. And I just want to make sure that you guys understand when you're doing contrast projections or contrast exams and you're doing these projections, you have to understand the, the way the anatomy is inside the large intestine. So the large intestine, uh, the uh, transverse colon is going to be more anterior. And uh, again, the rectal sigmoid portion is going to be uh, more anterior as well. So that means in the lateral portions of the, of the size of the colon, which is going to be the ascending colon and the descending colon, right now in an AP supine position, the contrast is going to be filled up on those ascending and descending portions. So we have to remember that I have this water bottle here. This is what your contrast is going to look like. Because remember, gravity is going to pull the contrast material down, and then air is going to go up. So just keep that in mind. So if we were to flip her over, flip the patient over, then the transverse colon is going to be filled with barium, and the rectal sigmoid air is going to be filled with barium. So just keep that in mind. I need you guys to understand what's happening to the barium inside the body. If you're doing a large intestine, you're going to be centered right here at the crest. You're going to go to 40 inch SID. So here I'll just show you real quick the AP. It's going to be very similar to the PA. You're going to be at 14 by 17, so it's 43 by 35. Let me put my glasses on. I think I can wing it without my glasses. All right. So there's a 14 by 17 projection here. Again, you're centered at the crest, mid-sagittal plane. Again, the AP, you're going to have the ascending colon and the descending colon filled with contrast with the barium, okay? So again, we're going to get the center here. All right, we would have our receptor here and push it in. All right, and this is going to be your AP. So now for the PA, we're going to have you turn over and face the board here. Let's have you turn over and face down here. Put the receptor inside. All right, so now we're going to be centered again at the crest here. All right, mid sagittal plane in the middle. Okay, right there. So her crest is be right. Right there, there's her crest right here. Okay, so 14 by 17, we're at 43 at 35 centimeters. Make sure she's straight. I think that's pretty good right there. Right there. Okay, so equal distance of the hips, and this is your PA. So now that we turned her over in a PA position, you're going to have the transverse colon filled with contrast material. And you're going to have here the rectal sigmoid region filled with contrast material as well, okay? So, again, we have to understand what you're going to be seeing when you make these projections and when you do these positions. So, now we're going to transfer into an ARIO position. So, we're going to put this arm down, all right? And we're going to go ahead and just bend this knee here. And we're going to turn this elbow just a little bit in the shoulder right there. So, now we're at about 45 degrees. The range is 35, 45 degrees. We'll put it right on her crest. There we go, right on her crest. And we'll go two inches from the spinal column here. There we go. And this is going to be your REO. So your REO, when you do the REO, you're going to see the right colic flexure. All right. So I think about the colic flexures like your elbows. So if you do an REO, if you want to see my right elbow, I have to turn into this position if I'm facing down, correct? So the REO is going to show the right colic flexure. If you want to see the left colic flexure, you have to turn into an LEO position. All right. So again, if you can't do an REO, then we can do an LPO. And if you can't do an LEO, you can do an RPO. Okay. All right. So this is going to be your REO. Rotate about 45 degrees. The range, I believe, is 35 to 45 degrees. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and put you flat down again. All right. You're going to go ahead and put both hands up here just like this. And we'll push your back here into an A or PA. And now we're going to angle 30 to 40 degrees. So we're at 30 degrees, so that means we're going to have to go down. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's 6 inches that we have to come down. So we're going to go here to, we're at 40 inches. We're going to go 34 here, and that's on the track. It's still maintained in a 40-inch SID. Remember that. All right. So now we're going to go ahead, and here's her crest. We're going to go here at her ASIS. So now we're going to bring this down, and you're going to go ahead and come down to the ASIS. 
So this is going to be here, your P axial, and this is for the uh, barium filled recto sigmoid region. Down here, we're just going to make sure that we got it centered. All right, I put my left marker down here in this corner area here, and and there we go. And there's your there's your PA axial. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and transition into an LEO position, and then we're going to a left lateral. All right. So I could have done both my obliques. I'm not going to lie. At the same time, but between me and you, um, I forgot. So we can still make it happen. All right. All right. So. We're going to go into an LEO position here now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn you on your left side. All right. We're going to turn you this way. You're going to bend this knee here. So notice anytime they bend the knee, they start to turn in an oblique position. We're going to turn her right here at 45 degrees. All right. She's pretty straight. And all I'm going to do is come down and go back to her iliac crest here again. All right. And then we have it here. Okay, so there's the crest. And again, we're doing the LEO, so it's for the left colic flexure. So if you're centered way over here, think about it. You're not going to see that left colic flexure, so you know that you're going to have to bring it over this way here. Just about close to the spine, about two inches to the spine here. So now we have enough area here so we can get the left colic flexure right there. Okay, so again, when you do the LEO, you're going to see the left colic flexure, okay? So now we're going to do one more projection, and we're going to do a left lateral, all right? So we're going to have you go ahead and put this arm here. Over here on this side, you're going to put your hands together, and you're going to turn on your left side facing that wall right there. You're going to put your knees together and bend them, okay? There we go, just like that, okay? I'm just going to bring her back. You can put your head on your hands there, just like that here. we got to make sure her shoulders are perpendicular, make sure her hips are perpendicular, and make sure her knees are perpendicular. So now... We're going to come down here to the ASIS, just like this. Make sure I'm centered. Put my left marker here on the, on the IR. Okay. Right there. All right. So I typically use the corner of the iliac crest to find this area. But this is a left lateral. And when you do a left lateral, you're going to see the rectoid sigmoid region. And you're going to see it filled with contrast here. So those are your projections for the... Uh, for the BE or the lower GI, um, I think they're relatively pretty easy. You know, once you do enough of these, they all, they all get pretty easy. But again, I want you to understand what's happening to the contrast material when it's inside the intestines. So know the anatomy of the intestines, okay? All right, so I'm hoping this will help you. And uh, make sure to, to reference your textbook again, okay? Thank you. Hello, everyone, you guys. Thank you very much for watching the videos. I'm hoping that they're helping you out. Please make sure that you subscribe and then you hit the notification bell to be notified about new videos. Again, remember to be good to yourself and be good to others. Thank you.